Welcome to this uh, special edition of BIMCAST, a podcast by uh, BIMSYNC. Uh, you find me here, Julien Benoit, stepping in uh, for uh, our CEO of Obel, and uh, welcoming two French guests tonight uh, from uh, Aegis, a uh, French uh, engineering company. Uh, can you introduce yourself? Yes, of course. Good evening. Um, my name is Vincent Keller. Uh, I'm the head of the digital engineering department uh, in Aegis Rail. Um, and myself, I'm Nicolas Ferrara, uh, and I'm the project leader inside the, the same department. Thank you. We are very excited to have you tonight with us. Um, I know the challenges in uh, infrastructure and uh, digitalization, moving to the digital era. Uh, how is Aegis embrace, embracing it at the moment in France? What can you tell us about this? Well, um, everything started, um, let's say, in 2010, okay, uh, when uh, when people were starting to use uh, 3D uh, and so on, and, and at that time uh, it was decided uh, to. Uh, to start a big enterprise project uh, whose name is uh, BIM by Aegis um, to, well, to, to gather all the, all the forces inside the, 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 our group because we have well, many, many trends and many, uh, many um, sub sub subsidiaries inside the group so um, now uh, we, I think that we have passed a new step um, we are uh, we are organizing some uh, training sessions uh, uh, to 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 put all the people on the same level of understanding of BIM, which is not a uh, which is a challenge. Right? Yes. So uh, maybe. Uh, so you're, what you're saying about. with the BIM biases is that you have high level of. Uh, strategy in the company it's like very yes, high commitments yes, yes because to, to um, basically the, the management decided to put some some aims some uh, goals okay in terms of of um, uh, key figures uh, number of projects which have to be uh, realized uh, through the BIM method and number of uh, employees which have to be in contact with the BIM so uh, that that's that's a project uh, being by Aegis. So, uh, each uh, uh, each of us have now to 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 show and to uh, and to to put all our best to to follow that strategy. Uh, but it's not only uh, an internal strategy because BIM makes no sense if we do it alone. So. Uh, BIM by Aegis is also a new way to collaborate and to work with the other partners and all the, um, all the, the, all the markets, let's say. So that, that, that's why uh, maybe uh, you, you can give uh, some words about uh, mine and, and, and so on. Um, yes, of course. Uh, the, 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 sh the challenge uh, to deploy BIM in our projects is to uh, make BIM uh, efficient, interesting for every stakeholder. So the first step for us was to uh, uh, transform our methods in our projects, in pilot projects, like uh, Rain Metro since uh, 2010, like uh, the Grand Paris Express, Express uh, since uh, 2013. Uh, we, we, we try to uh, in create new methods uh, and we ask our stakeholders to give their best to, uh, uh, to uh, change their method and uh, share the information through BIM model, through new uh, uh, BIM platform and they, they 
thought that it was useful for them themselves. They changes their own method, and they were interested in, in that uh, in those uh, pilot projects. Then we tried to um, uh, consolidate those methods into a BIM toolkit inside Edges uh, to, um, to to make our own standardization uh, for uh, BIM processes since 2016-17 and now we try to implement those standardized methods in BIM projects and we, our objective is to um, perform uh, our project in BIM. Uh, uh, 80% of our project in BIM uh, until uh, 2020. Uh, it's, it's a great challenge for us. It sounds like a really great challenge to accomplish. So what you're saying basically is that you collected from like knowledge from early project like uh, proof, of com proof of concept projects, you structure this uh, knowledge internally to learn from that and share the knowledge internally. Yes. But what you're also saying is that you're uh, kind of shaping some education material for subcontractors and uh, everyone around the project, basically. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. Um when, when we started to, to, to use um, and to practice the, the collaboration through the, through the BeamSync platform, we, we suddenly uh, found out that it, it would be a, a, good, um, uh, a good support to, 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 to help everybody uh, understanding uh, how it works, how are the processes, the, the, the BIM processes. And, uh, but it was not so much difficult to, 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 to get. So uh, that's why uh, we decided to, to, to build uh, a lesson, a training uh, session, okay, based on mainly on practice and offer it to everybody in, inside, the, inside the company. So even those who don't have the, the, the chance to to, to have a, a contact with the with, with the beam method because they don't want, they don't uh, have the opportunity to, to have a project uh, on that and um, now we uh, we got I think uh, something like 150 persons roughly 2050 at the end of the of the year hopefully uh, and it works it works it seems to to be um, very um, very appreciated by the people. And uh, maybe it could be also reproduced uh, the concept with the customer, with the partners uh, that we have to okay. to drive with us. So that will lead to my my next question is about the industry, the line of work, the subcontractors, partners, engineers. Uh, how is it going right now in France around a uh, railing and infrastructure project? What is your take on it, and what is uh, Aegis aiming in that direction? Yeah. To deploy BIM in projects, uh, we need to um, work with all the stakeholders in BIM method. So uh, uh, the challenge is to uh, to to to, uh, to train uh, all the stakeholders and to uh, define methods and standards that are uh, uh, used by uh, many many stakeholders in the. Uh, construction industry. So, uh, the French uh, French stakeholders in the uh, construction industry decided uh, five years or six years ago uh, to uh, share their knowledge, to share their uh, task force, uh, to uh, de develop uh, uh, BIM specification on BIM. Uh, methodology. Uh, they work together in a working group uh, since uh, six uh, years. Uh, and this project is named MIND, uh, and uh, the MIND is funded by, uh, uh, by 70 or 80 
uh, stakeholders like engineering group, like uh, uh, construction group, like uh, owners, etc. Great owners. And uh, one of the most important tasks today is to uh, extend uh, IFC uh, to infrastructure. So uh, now there are many uh, working groups uh, in Building Smart International, but also in MINE, in the French uh, uh, um, task force in MINE, uh, to uh, uh, generate specification for the extension of uh, the IFC for infrastructure. So uh, that means uh, rail, uh, tunnel, bridge, uh, road, uh, earthworks, uh, geotechnics. So uh, there is a great event at the end of uh, uh, next uh, month uh, in Beijing. Uh, Build Smart International uh, will deliver the specification for the uh, IFC uh, regarding uh, rail, railway system, uh, that means track, energy, uh, signaling on telecom, and uh, it's what will be delivered is a candidate for the standardization inside Building Smart International. Um, it's a great, great uh, uh, job made by uh, uh, Chinese, uh, Chinese uh, people, by European people. Uh, France uh, funded uh, one third of this project and uh, contributed a lot to the specification. So it's a, it's a, uh, it's a great uh, milestone uh, we, uh, that will be uh, uh, reached at the end of the October. And then we hope that, uh, uh, and then we will work with the uh, software vendors to uh, make uh, um, uh, the implementation of this uh, IFC for infrastructure uh, more uh, uh, rapid, more uh, and more relevant, and we hope that in two or three years uh, we will be able to generate uh, more relevant, more rich uh, IFC uh, uh, models uh, by using our common tools for infrastructure. That's, that sounds really exciting and I, I'm really looking forward to it as much as uh, the rest of the industry has. One final uh, silly question for you uh, before we wrap it up. Uh, if you were to have a magic wand in your hand, what would you change right now in the industry so we embrace a better way of working together and with BIM? Well, uh I would say uh, the adoption of a common language as... Uh, to understand each other would yeah, be great. As IFC and BCF and all the uh, methodologic standards from the Building Smart, that would be great. <laughs> Good. And for me, maybe it will be to, uh, to, to, uh, to be sure that uh, everybody wants to co-build a, a project uh, and to uh, uh, make easier the, the, the to share information for the usage of the others. So I, I think it should be uh, uh, the 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 way to manage a project in another way by using B method, but not only by uh, giving people new tools to uh, to to to, to co-build uh, a project. Perfect. Thank you very much. Uh, it's been a pleasure to have you tonight for Thank this you. new Thank episode you. of uh, uh, Beamcast, uh, and uh, see you soon, hopefully. Thank you. <laughs>